Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we are going to be talking about Resident Evil, the final chapter. And this better be the final film. <laughs> uh, so, before I get into this review, I'm just going to say that uh, I have not seen any of the Resident Evil uh, movies prior to this one. Uh, nor have I played any of the games, so I went to this movie with an open mind, ready for anything, and I came out with a headache. Thanks, Resident Evil. You know what you're doing. Let's get into the story uh, right off the bat. Now, uh, the movie uh, starts off uh, with a, a flashback uh, to the previous Resident, e Resident Evil movies. So it makes uh, seeing that those uh, films completely point completely pointless, and uh, therefore, thus, uh, you can just jump into this movie and you don't need to waste your time with those. So I guess that in a way that's neat, but at the same time, that's not really uh, something I would like to see because that some rips off a movie I saw earlier this month. And that would be Underworld Blood Wars. Yeah. I thought that movie was horrible. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I think uh, Underworld Blood Wars should get some praise. I think it deserves praise because this movie put me into a new light of what a film could be. And that is everything I could possibly imagine that would be horrible and worse than Underworld Blood Wars. Like, what happened? I don't know what's happening with this movie. Uh, first off, let's get into the performances. Uh, they all suck. You don't care about anyone. Every character in this movie is one-dimensional. And uh, that's all you need to know. Number two. Uh, the story. It barely makes any sense. And <laughs> you don't really need to know anything else uh, outside of that. Now, let's get into the biggest issue of all, and that is uh, how the uh, movie was made with editing, filmmaking, the directing is horrible, uh, the, the uh, director apparently likes to do uh, countless jump cuts, and they uh, barely take uh, one second to do, they take like 10% of a second. Do you know how long that is? Like every action sequence that happens. What is happening? I can't tell what's happening where, here, or anywhere. You can't really tell what's happening. You can't see if this is well choreographed or if this is brutal or what's happening, who's winning the battle or not, because you can't tell what's happening because the these jump cuts are insanity to the highest level. And also, the director never puts the camera down. It, it just lets handheld this the entire movie. Even in when uh, we're having like still shots, you can see the camera just shaking a little bit. Now that's tolerate. I can tolerate that to a certain level. But that's throughout the entire movie. Just imagine having to deal with that for like two hours. I cannot stand this movie at all. I do not get why these movies make money if this is what they have to offer. But if you enjoy those things, then go see this movie. I don't really care. But I need to take some medicine after I got home. I would say, say uh, what this uh, better description of the story, like uh, where I was starting off of, but that kind of gets into spoiler, and the first two acts barely have a story. It's just mindless action, and also this movie's very boring, just like Underworld Blood Wars. I would rather see Underworld Blood Wars for crying out loud. I don't know what this movie was trying to do. This movie just wants to be awful in every conceivable way. Underworld Blood Wars, I can see attempts where it's trying. 
in the end, this movie is horrible in just about every conceivable way. So, don't see this movie. Avoid it at all costs. And I'm going to give Resident Evil the final chapter an F. Thank you, as always, for watching my reviews. If you have any thoughts on Resident Evil, the final chapter, that are different than mine, let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And also, I'll bring up my next review very soon. So look forward to that. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.